Hi guys, welcome to Saul's Journey. I'm doing a VR today to Shamanic Hour Whack Priestess and she did a video the other day, top three of nine. So it's top three in nine different categories of things. And um, I think I have all the categories covered, but I'm not, I think there's one I don't really have anything for. So the first thing um, is top three tarot decks. And if you've watched my channel for any length of time, these will not come as a surprise. So number one, I would say, is my Tarot of Prague. I just adore this deck. Um, the artwork is, of course, gorgeous. It's all based on locations actually in Prague. That's Prague Castle. Various doors and different locations around the city there. This is the, um, the second edition that has the cold foil stamping. Um, very shiny and pretty. Um, let's see, some of my favorite cards in this. The Five of Swords. Um, this was really um, kind of a, a hard choice. There were a couple that were so close. The Alice Tarot and the Victorian Romantic. Come on. The focus. I should probably put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Lovely Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands. So that's the first. I'm put them back so I don't kill them. Okay, number two, which is kind of tied with the first one. Um, the Bohemian Gothic. And this was the tarot deck that really introduced me to Baba Studio. Whoops. And I have been absolutely gaga over their work ever since. This is the second edition. Um, it's got the beautiful silver edging all around. I just love this. Is she focused? I can't tell. I don't have my glasses on. Just a sec. No, it looks okay. Um, it's just so wonderfully atmospheric and creepy. And Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands. There we go. Um, seven of Pentacles. Let's see what else is Ace of Cups. I think that's in the Bone Chapel in Hutnakora. Hermit. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen this deck loads of times. Every time there's a, a top dex comes out, I trot this one out. Because this is just, I don't know, maybe this is my soul deck. Okay. 
I'm just that dark and creepy, I guess. Uh, one more. Okay. Fabulous, fabulous. I just fall in love with it more and more every time I pull it out and look at it. Okay, so my third, my top three, is my very old Rider Waite Smith. This is a 1971 edition that I bought at the local mall when I was. I don't know, 12 or 13, something like that. And this has the wonderful old papery card stock and the slightly more subdued colors. I know it looks really bright on here, but compared to the, the current printing that's out there, um, this is not quite as bright. But this is like... This is tarot to me, you know. There's so many different decks out there, and God knows I've got my share of them. Um, but some of them veer so far from standard tarot that um, they almost feel more like oracles. I don't know if anybody else has gotten that impression. Um, I don't actually read with this one anymore because this is the precious. And I'm terrified I'm going to damage it. The little white book is long gone, but I do still have the two blank cards that came with it. Went back when they used to stick the two blanks in. Um, so, kind of taking its place. Oops. I've been using... Um, the ride, uh, Radiant Wise Spirit more. I think everybody has seen this thing now. It's like crazy popular. But it's just, it's a recoloring. Um, unfortunately, it is very glossy. I just, I don't think we're ever going to see that beautiful old paper stock again. Um, I'm sure it's more expensive to produce. So, well, I've got all the quartz together for some. I must have been doing something with them the other night. Um, anyway, everybody's seen that. I gotta tell you, this one that I just recently got is really moving up in the ranks. Um, I do have a walkthrough, so I won't go into it now, but um, this deck, I don't know what it is, but I have just been like carrying it around with me and moving from room to room. I just sort of take it with me. I just, it's hardly left my side since I got it. So that one may be showing up in one of my, my top videos. Um, and then the next category was top oracles. And so I don't have a lot of oracles that I use regularly, so apologize for all the, the repeats from previous videos. Um, I'm just going to probably show the same ones I always show. The Illuminated Earth Oracle by Claire Mack. And this is... I love this deck. It's, it's very... it's kind of abstract. This is the back. Um, But I love this artwork. Um, I can just really get lost in these cards. And she's got these little like vignettes inside the. It doesn't have a lot of people in it, which I kind of like. I don't know if you can read the title at the bottom there. That's Erosion. Um, 
This is upheaval. Underworld. I believe she is working on another deck now. Phenomenon. Disguise. Release. The colors in it are just so beautiful. Source. And these little circles like top and bottom have they're like windows into others other I don't know places realities dimensions whatever you want to call it anyway I just I really love this deck it um yeah I don't think it gets enough attention another one that I show a lot the white hair wisdom by Jackie Lovesey and the companion deck to this should be hopefully shipping next month. Those of us who backed it on Kickstarter. This is a really sweet little deck. It's this whole magical world with rabbits and other critters. Matlock the hare. Um, Ursula the white witch or the white hare witch. And she's got cards for each of the sabbats in here. Let's see if I can find them. This is a really cute one, New Moon. So, in bulk. Mm -hmm. Oops. Another release card. Salon. Beltane. Uh, I think I have the Ostara card on my altar right now. Uh, let's see what else. Mabon. Melissa. But, you know, it, it's more than just the, the Sabbaths. So, it's just, it's a really sweet little deck and very nice little book with it that goes into the whole mythos of the place and yeah I just like that a lot it's very different and third oracle is my sacred mothers and goddesses by Claudia Olivos this was a kickstarter and it comes with a, a nice little book, or it did. Um, she is waiting on, I think it's Blue Angel now, to put out a, um, a mass market edition of this deck. So I don't know if it's going to have the gilt edges that the original did, but it will have Claudia's beautiful art and a wonderful collection of goddesses. So 
Nicholas Minerva, Kuan Yin. I love this green Terra. Yellow Terra. Pachamama. Anye. I'm not going to try to pronounce this one. Tlauzol Teotl. Okay, so I tried. There's a lot of South American and Native American goddesses in here, as well as, the, you know, the, the more familiar European goddesses like Freya. Lalita. Oh, I love this. Hecate. Just beautiful. So hopefully, I mean, lots more. I won't go through the whole deck. Um, hopefully, Blue Angel will be releasing it sometime soon. I really don't know. Claudia hasn't heard from them the last I heard from her. So we don't know yet. So next category, incense resin. Um, <clears throat> I have a fair amount of incenses. <coughs> Excuse me. Currently, I'm kind of liking this little, it's a Japanese incense, it's amber. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these. They're just these tiny little sticks and they don't have, you know, any kind of, and it's just one whole, that's all it is. It's the, the little stick. You get a fair amount in a box. I forget if it was 50 sticks. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's usually enough. And then this, I love. I found this on a website called dharmashop.com. This is white Terra incense and it is made in Nepal by Buddhist nuns and it's all completely natural. And similar to the little Japanese incense, they are just small sticks. There's, you know, no top or bottom. There's no, you know, like extra piece hanging out. There's nothing there. It's just the incense. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Oh, so beautiful. And I've got a couple others. Um, I think this is called Good Luck Incense. And I bought it. I'm not even sure what it, what all it contains. It came from abaxion.com. But this is the little... Um, resin incense so it's just like uh, I don't know if I can show you just these little pieces that you have to burn on a charcoal so yeah I, I use a fair amount of the little charcoals I, t I tend to break them in half though because one whole charcoal is kind of a waste Be very you don't need much of this kind of incense it produces a lot of smoke so, you know, crack the little charcoal in half and drop a couple of little pieces on and you get a lot of smoke. So, uh, let's see, herbs. What herbs? Um, let's see, I brought some out. Um, well, got my bag of white sage. Let's Kind of all-purpose uh, spiritual bleach anytime you need to do a cleansing it's great um, a 
Just got a new bag of mugwort and black salt. Um, so those are probably my top three that get used. Yeah, I guess. You know, obviously in conjunction with others, but um, curios. I don't really know that I have anything that would qualify as a curio. Not entirely sure what that is, so I'll just move along here. Oils. Um, I've just got a couple. I don't tend to use a lot of oils um, for like... Yeah, just even like a, a ritual bath um, before any kind of um, working or circle or whatever. Um, it's just usually the anointing with water. Um, I do have a couple. This is a Prosperity anointing oil. Um, I don't use it a whole lot. And this is just kind of a general purpose anointing oil I got from 13 Moons. It's kind of nice, but again, I'm not big on using oils on things. Um, tools. Um, so, I guess my little altar bell, which I really like. It kind of helps to move me out of the mundane into sacred space. When I hear this, it just kind of... It, it creates a shift in my consciousness that I'm, I'm moving into that mindset and I'm, you know, my, my brain is starting to work on that level and, um, you know, with the grounding and the centering. And, but that, that's, it, it's like a signal. It's, you know, like Pavlov's dog. Oh, so, <clears throat> what else? Oh, uh, my wand. This is going to be kind of boring, but that's it. It's a branch off my apple tree in my backyard that I have had for probably 20 years. Nothing fancy. And then my third, um, I didn't bother bringing it in because it's a broom and it's big and not really, I mean you guys all know what a broom looks like. Um, crystals. I'm not real big on crystals. Um, I guess my favorites are these little animal carvings done. Like, I've got this little rose quartz bunny that I like a lot. And I'm not even sure what kind of a stone this is. I, I should know, but I don't. It's a, a little turtle. Um, I can't think of what it's called right now. I'm sure you guys will know. But it's all like carved on the back and even on the bottom. Um, I just, I have a real thing for turtles. I love turtles. And then I have a clear quartz bear. I tend to think of it as a polar bear, but I guess it could be any kind of bear. And cologne scents, yeah, not a, not a big deal to me. Whoops. That's just not something I use as part of my practice, so I guess that's all I've got. And um, maybe you guys will want to do a VR of this as well. And I will link to Shamanic Arawak Priestess um, her original video down below. And if you like, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Blessed be.